Hello. Welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at gross and net takeoff flight paths and obstacle limitation during takeoff. First, let's look at takeoff. An aircraft takeoff is a flight phase which starts when the aircraft is stationary on the runway and ends when the aircraft climbs to a height of 1,500 feet above ground level. This phase begins with the ground acceleration, where the engine power is increased to takeoff power. After reaching a particular speed, the aircraft's angle of attack is increased. This is called rotation. The aircraft lifts off and becomes airborne. The speed and altitude of the aircraft will continue to increase. The vertical trajectory that the aircraft follows post lift off is called the takeoff path. This path may contain obstacles, so the takeoff path must ensure sufficient obstacle clearance, even in case of an engine failure. The takeoff path may be classified as gross takeoff flight path and net takeoff flight path. What is gross takeoff flight path? This is the ideal flight path that an aircraft is expected to follow during takeoff, starting from 35 feet above the runway. This flight path considers all engines are operating, standard atmospheric conditions, and no performance penalties. What is net takeoff flight path? The net takeoff flight path is the flight path that the aircraft would follow because of factors such as failure of the critical engine, non-standard atmospheric conditions, and inclusion of performance penalties. This flight path is needed to ensure the aircraft clears all obstacles during takeoff. How is the gross and net takeoff flight path determined? The gross flight path is determined during flight testing and certification process. When the gross flight path is reduced by a specific climb gradient, the net takeoff flight path is obtained. The reduction for a two-engine aircraft is 0.8%. The gradient reduction is applicable in the first, second, and fourth takeoff segments. Net Takeoff Flight Path and Obstacle Clearance To understand this, let's consider a two-engine aircraft in the second takeoff segment. This segment starts when the landing gear is fully retracted and the engine is at full takeoff power. Here, the minimum climb gradient to be maintained is 2.4%. When this climb gradient is reduced by 0.8%, we get the net takeoff flight path. As per regulations, the net takeoff flight path must clear any obstacle by at least 35 feet. If the aircraft is not able to clear the obstacle, the climb gradient has to be increased to more than 2.4%. This means the maximum takeoff weight, or MTOW, may need to be reduced to meet this new gradient requirement. This is known as obstacle limitation. Similarly, the net takeoff flight path must clear obstacles by at least 35 feet in all the takeoff segments. That's all for my video on the gross and net takeoff flight paths and obstacle limitation. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, Please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.